welcome back to my channel so I had a really good suggestion from one of you guys to do a video on what kind of gift should I buy them so those who are let, running late when it comes to Christmas presents or you lost and you don't know what to get this person uh, we're gonna try and see what is it that they would appreciate so I think I'm gonna name this video what kind of gift would this person appreciate the most I'm gonna um, do it on camera guys I'm gonna get your piles ready on camera so some of you know it's helpful when it comes to picking a pile that's gonna be for pile number one we might put some objects on top today so you have it easier I know I'm challenging you all the time when it comes to your intuition let's take a break shall we number two number three and number four wants to come out too now we're gonna also pull from the steampunk keeper and we'll read only from two cards today what kind of gift would they appreciate card number one the most all right and number two what kind of gift would they appreciate card number two Pile number three, what kind of gift will they appreciate the most? Wow, okay, that wants to fly out. And number four, what type of gift will they appreciate the most? What type of gift will they appreciate the most? So let's put some objects on top. Let's uh, try and make these look tidy. Okay. So for pile number one, we have this shell right here. I'm gonna show you piles from close up. For pile number two, we have a piece of glass from the sea. Pile number three, we have the amethyst. And pile number four, we have another shell. So let me take you closer. That's pile number one. Pile number two. Pile number three. And pile number four. Take your pick. If you need some more time, stop the video right here and I'm gonna catch you in timestamps. Hello, pal number one. Let's see what we have for you guys. So from the Triple Goddess Tower, we have the Ten of Wands and we have Work Occupation. Now, what I'm picking up straight away for pal number one, what would they appreciate the most is something that they will make them feel physically lighter any spa, any relaxations, anything to do with making their work life easy so it can be connected to something that they might use at work or it can be this, we have two groups already, or it can be connected to any kind of physical activity or massage, therapy, spa, uh, maybe even a gym subscription i'm picking up for some of you for others of you this person would appreciate something that would help them out in their job environment it can be anything from a nice shirt uh, maybe a very nice watch as addition to their to their image professional image or anything that vibes with their work environment it doesn't have to be you know someone who works in uh, in the office it can be looking at this work and occupation card someone who is maybe a bit witchy so anything to do with that would be greatly appreciated so this was a quick one i hope that this has given you an idea of what they might need and i'm gonna catch you in the next one bye for now Hello, pal number two. Let's see what we have for you guys. What would this person greatly appreciate? Oh, <laughs> give them money. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay, so it can be that this person is like, I get, I have everything that I want. You know, I can buy it myself if you would support me financially. Um, that'd be great. You know, I don't know, $20, $50. That's great. I'm going to get what I want. Now, 
for another group of people, what I'm picking up here, this person really appreciates um, when you put heart and thought in the gift. So it's not only about money, it's about somehow putting their, your heart into gift, something thoughtful, even the way you would wrap the gift, maybe a note you would leave for them. This person doesn't seem like they care about um, how expensive the gift is, they care about the thought behind it. We have two groups here. One group, people who have everything themselves, they're like, listen, um, I care about ha heartfelt messages. I care about a personal touch. And another group, if you know that this is someone who might need an ex extra, you know, dollar or two, um, I think that would be a really great thing for them. Because um, maybe it feels like they have an eye on something that they want, want to get themselves. And this addition financial addition, it would help them out greatly. Um, what else? Let me see what else I'm picking up here. For other group, now know where you stand because you know this person. For other group, this person appreciates anything traditional, anything that might be connected to the family, to heritage, uh, maybe even a picture of some sorts that shows everyone that they care about together, right? Anything to do with traditional I'm seeing a family tree here. If you're making anything, um, if you're into arts and crafts, if you could um, make a gift yourself that has a personal touch and it reminds this person of something that is the most important, which is family or friends, this person will greatly appreciate that. So I hope that this made sense and it has given you an idea of what it is that you might want to get them and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hello pal number three. Let's see what this person would greatly appreciate or maybe something that they might need when it comes to gifts. We have the Sun card, nice, as well as the High Honors. Okay, honestly, what I'm picking up here this person finds time and effort um, as a best gift. If this is someone who's struggling with, um, would it be work, studies, uh, getting some kind of diploma or certificate, um, if you know how to help them out, what they might need, maybe your um, insight, maybe your help, maybe um, anything that is connected to education here, or expanding their knowledge would be great. I would say they would even appreciate maybe a, a, some kind of subscription to a website that allows you to um, expand your skill set. This is someone who um, cares about their profession, about their future, and this person would appreciate an addition to that. Now this is there is a one very different group here. This person loves uh, really nice details or accessories. Would it be a scarf? Would it be a nice bracelet or a piece of clothing? Especially if you think that this person has an, an eye on one, they would love getting that. So your message is really, really quick, pal number um, three. I hope this has given you an idea of what th this is that they might need. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hello, pal number four. So let's see what will this person appreciate when it comes to gifts. Mm. All right, this is interesting. This is interesting. This person cares about a nice touch. This person cares about heartfelt messages. Um, this would be someone who loves, you know, if you've given them, I don't know, if you gifted them a trip that costs about a grand, and if, so, if they were gifted a really nice uh, note, you know, a handwritten note, they would choose a note. So anything that is coming from the heart, this person I'm also seeing 
it seems like they would greatly appreciate the time so maybe some kind of adventure um i'm not picking up that this person would want anything anything that you know that is physical but more so some kind of I'm hearing going karting, going and exploring, uh, maybe a ticket somewhere where they can test their themselves, some kind of a group. Yeah, I'm seeing a bigger group of people. Maybe where you would invite other friends to join too or family members to join too and you would do something together togetherness is a thing you know this person likes experiences so anything that is experience for them as a gift is great maybe going and hiking going climbing a mountain i don't know anything to do with that you know taking them on a road trip of some sort they would love love a gift like that so guys that was a short and sweet one. I hope this has given you an idea of what it might be. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye for now.